Hello everyone, welcome to day 16th of every delete code challenge and today's question is letter case permutation. In this question, you are given a string S and you need to uh, list out all the possible uh, strings that you could create by using one rule. The rules is that whenever you see an individual character, uh, you need to replace it with a lower case and an uppercase one to create a new string out of it. And for all such uh, possibilities, you need to add them in an array and return that answer set. For example, uh, in this case, we have a small case 1, b small case 2. Uh, what are the possible uh, strings that can be generated out of it? So uh, it's a1, b2, it's a1 capital B2, it's capital a1, b2 and it's a1, b2 both in capitals. So this is the complete data set that can be generated and you need to return this uh, list in the answer. For this case, it's 3z4, uh, one would be a lowercase string. Since it has only one uh, character, uh, which is a letter, uh, one string would contain its lowercase instance and other would contain its uppercase instance. And this is a complete data set. For only numbers, that string itself will be the string. There will be no other possibility because it doesn't case, uh, contain uh, letters in the current string. And again for this. These two are exactly same cases. So looks like a typical uh, DFS problem. And let's start uh, with the slideshow that I have created for this. So if you read the question carefully, then you will observe that how many such permutations will be there in your answer set. It will be equal to 2 raised to power n elements where n stands for number of characters that are letters. So letter count is what stands for n. And let's understand it with an example. We have a1, b2 and c3. How many characters are there in this string that are letters? 3, a, b and c. And, if, and in how many ways you can convert each letter in two ways, uppercase and lowercase. So lower and upper. What will be the possibilities? 2 raised to power n, which is your uh, count for the elements that will be there in your answer set. And how can we generate those uh, strings? Let's look at the uh, recursion tree or the DFS tree that we'll have. Uh, important thing to note here is every character should be treated in two ways, one in the lowercase form and other one in the uppercase form. So you start from the 0th index. And you observe that in this case, it is a character. You generate one string where this character is lowercase, which is this. You generate one string, which is uh, uh, which is this, where the first character is replaced by the uppercase instance of the first character. A, a smaller a gets replaced by a capital A. And you get this string. And you move ahead the pointer by one point, And the pointer comes to 1 in both these cases. So let me just take another color. And pointer uh, reaches 1. So e with every iteration, we are moving the pointer to a next point. And what you observe, this time we have a digit instead of a letter. Uh, since it's a digit, we don't need to do anything. Simply move ahead the cursor. So cursor gets to B position, the second position in both these strings. And uh, since we observed that it is a letter, there are again two possibilities, one with the lower one and uh, one with the upper one, where you convert the current character to the lowercase, you get this. And where you convert the current character to uppercase, you get this string. So A1, B2, uh, C3. And as you do this, uh, you move the pointer to the next position. So pointer gets to 2 for both these strings. Similarly, for this string, uh, we need to take, consider two cases where B is in small case and B is in upper case. So we have B here as a small case and B here as an upper case and the pointer moves ahead to 2. Since uh, 2 is a digit, uh, we don't need to do anything, simply increment the pointer. So we get, we reach C in all these four strings. And uh, since we reach C, 
uh, again we have two possibilities one for the lower case and one for the upper case uh, we uh, generated the new strings a1 b2 c3 and move the pointer to the next position a1 b2 c3 where c is in capital form by virtue of this operation and uh, we reach we reach the end of the uh, al almost the end of the string similarly we have a1 capital b2 and c3 small c3 uh, lower and upper a1 b2 and c3 both upper generated by this string uh, we for this we have a1 b2 and c3 this is lower and we have a1 b2 c3 this is upper so c got updated to capital c and here again a1 b2 c3 where a b are in capital c in small by virtue of this small c and this is for the upper case this is for the lower case a1 b2 c3 and uh, a1 b2 and c3 and we are at almost at the last second la last index since it's a digit we don't need to do anything we just increment uh, the pointer to the next position and what we have we have these uh, nodes as our terminal nodes and we add them in our data set which will be our answer set so this is what will be our recursive recursion tree and let's quickly code this up a pretty straightforward way of writing the dfs or the recursive logic let's start to coding let's define our answer set list string ans new array list and if let's write another corner case s dot length equals equals to zero you simply return your answer otherwise you invoke the helper method and uh, what you pass you pass uh, s dot to char array the character instance of the current string because it's easier to replace elements there uh, the answer set and the index from where you are starting you're starting from zero so that's the start point and in the end you simply return your answer set answer set so let's write the helper method char str string ns an integer index if my index happens to be equal to str dot length that means i have reached the terminal state uh, the leaves of the current dfs tree and i need to add the current str into my answer set so ans dot add new string str and then you return from there otherwise we go and check whether the current instance of the uh, current character is uh, a digit or a letter character dot is digit if that's a digit str of index you don't do anything and you simply return or invoke simply invoke helper with str ans and move to the next position in the index of the index pointer and return from there otherwise uh, what we are going to do uh, we will update the current character str of index equals to character dot to lower lower case and we'll pass the current character itself and that will get set uh, once we have set that in the string we'll invoke the index plus one the we'll move for the next iteration and similarly we'll do it for the lower case one for the upper and one for the lower i think we are done here and we'll write we'll run this code to see the response 
and it looks great accepted uh, thanks for watching the video hope you enjoyed it